Go to Analysis Generator and select Analysis Type as Static and Static Analysis with Gap Elements and we're gonna check the Environmental Loading Options the Solve Options the Gap Element Options we're gonna change use gap input file we don't have to change this uh, we don't have to we don't want to check right now and not even and we don't want to create a graphical post processing and here gonna change to 13th edition gonna use model file and the state input file right we have to input the file ID gonna use that and this one we don't need this okay so let's run this analysis. No errors. That's fine. Let's open up this and check the results. Scroll down until the end of the document. And you're going to see that there is only the dead load. Nothing else. Okay. And you can check also the gap element report, compression only members, everything is compressed, and in the tie down members, there is nothing there, that's okay, as we expected, and we can close them, and go ahead. Now I'm gonna create the toe input file go to data gen create new data file go to loading input file to input file then ok gonna use metric forces in kilonewtons And the first, let's save the file as toeimp.trend. And the first line you're gonna insert is the toe analysis option. A unit is metric with forces in kilonewtons. And the center of motions. We're gonna use minus 75, 3.5, 4.5, and the surge and row axis. Let's use X. Sway and pitch axis. Let's use Y. Heave and yaw axis. Gonna use Z. Okay. We need to change. Two more things. Consider loading only. No. This is gonna exclude the weight of the structure and only generate the inertia loading. Okay. And this one. No also. Okay. So the second line. Gonna use include weight and choose the weight combination mass okay now I'm gonna insert the motion insert input line motion data the first load case is plus 
R plus H. Then the row angle is 12.5. The period is 10 seconds. And the heave 0.2 G. And we're gonna gonna use uh, includes gravity for surge and sway only. Okay, we don't wanna include this for heave. And then apply. So the other lines are the same. I'm gonna copy this one and just edit the lines. And so that's it. Let's type end and save the file. We can close this now. And we gonna create a gap input file. Go to data gen, create new data file. Okay. Go to gap element input file. The metric. And okay. Let's save this file as Cap imp dot trend and the first line is the gap options. Okay, we don't need to change anything here. Let's use the default options. And the second line we're gonna use LC gap group gap type override by group and the load case ID the first one is plus R plus H gonna include the elements and you're gonna set them as standard elements they were defined as no load elements. Now we're telling SAX that they are going to work as a standard element. Okay. So let's define the group. It's C. And then apply. You can do this for all of the other loads, motions, but I'm gonna copy. Just tap this here and we okay, can end the file and let's save it. Okay, we uh, can close this. Now let's create the toe run file and run the analysis. To analysis generator, reset analysis type. Let's change the file ID to churn. Select analysis type as loading. Transportation in natural loading. Gonna check the solve option and the gap elements option. Here we have to Click on this and use gap input file, set it to yes. And it's gonna ask the gap input file. Let's change this for American 13th edition. The sax model file. The toe input file. When you use the names it goes directly to the name so I recommend you guys to do that and the gap input file the toe OC 
you don't have to, we don't need this, so we can uncheck this and let's run the analysis. No errors. Let's see the, the list file. Scroll down to the end of the document and you're going to see for the row, it have forces in Y, which is correct. Okay, and the signs are in accordance, minus, minus, for the heave. For the pitch, the same. When we have pitch, we're gonna have forces in X. It's in accordance with the, the axis we defined in the beginning. Okay. So we can close this. And now we, we have the two common solution file from the dead load and the inertia load. Now we're gonna create the com the combined input file. Go to data gen, create new data file. Go to utilities and combine input file and metric again. Let's save the file as. CMB imp dot to the first line is the combine options. You don't have to change anything here. Let's go to the second line. Can I insert output load condition combination? The first one is C001. Okay, and in the third line, you're gonna insert the dead load. It's the first common solution file. Gonna use the input load component. And the load name is dead. The load case factor one. And then apply. Let's use comp again. And the load case name is plus R plus H. It's the secondary common solution file. And the load case factor is 1.0. Okay, and then we're gonna do this for all of the loads. I'm gonna copy, make it easier. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.